Hey, it's Easter Friday, happy Easter. There was a lovely uh, live stream in progress which has unfortunately been halted by some kind of serious technical problem where the turbines just literally stopped and asked me something to do with the chain. It was running very well in the low gear mode, but last night it was 50 to 60 miles per hour, uh, so it could have benefited from being in the higher mode because the blades were probably doing over 300 RPM for a few hours. But that doesn't excuse anything, but you can clearly see. post a video. Cheers! You should be able to see there what's actually happened to the chain. It's these, really it's the poor quality motor mounts uh, that I need to sort out because something's happened there that isn't right. You can see the chain's written all the way over the top of the... Uh... We'll take it down a bit more and have a closer look. I don't know if you can see, it looks like we've got some gnarled teeth on the motor. That chain is going to be a bitch to get off. That's a close up of the cable that needs replacing. But that is not good. Because there's no way of. Uh, the link's going to be very hard to get out. I'm just going to have to get a hammer and just try giving it a couple of gentle taps, see if that goes back on. A few clumps and it came off. Uh, I'll try and get a close-up of... You can see... It looks really gnarled up. I'm just going to give the... Right, well, we don't have any problem with the motor, so that's good. This will be massively loose. This, this is a very cool time to show you it can actually work on its side, look. actually going to go put a load on in the shed uh, because obviously we don't want the chain coming off again which it's going to do. So I've just joined the rectifier cables together. That's better. Just got to get a spanner and uh, adjust this but that's very interesting to see that lying on its side with the wind tearing in that way how well it catches it. This is what, what, what I mean is really there's a little bracket here it's kind of responsible for holding the motor up. This bracket needs to be on the inside, uh, so there's definitely some adjustments need making. But that's with the cables joined together, so it's still able to turn, but it's not going to turn fast enough to cause uh, another cataclysm. I'll just have to find a spanner to try to uh, get these off and try and adjust it again and maybe just put it back up there while it's windy. Cheers. So some adjustments were made and everything tightened back up. It seems to be running a bit better. That's as loose as it. I don't really want it any tighter than that. Otherwise it just doesn't seem to work very well. So it's going to go back up and then we'll see if it's worked. The... Let's check in there and all right. Yeah, so I haven't, I've decided not to put it on the bigger gear for as uh, of now. We'll just have to see if it works, I guess. Cheers. Initial signs are very good. That's with the brake on, so we could be in for some serious action. I'm just going to go plug the uh, plug the turbine direct to the heater dump load, I think, and then we 
won't have any taking off issues. Cheers. So the output of the turbine is going straight to these and that's what it's doing. Uh, it's not connected to the batteries in any way. Just going to disconnect and connect to the battery. So there, that appears to be working properly. All's well, ends well. <laughs> 